As the Soviet and American intelligence agencies raced towards reaching superior paranormal abilities, work began on a form of espionage called remote viewing. The research aimed to prove or disprove that certain individuals had the ability to see long distances away, even peering into top secret facilities. See for yourself as Paranormal TV offers the truth be told story of remote viewing. Remote viewing is the alleged ability to perceive places that are remote and out of the reach of senses. This is how the Soviets described it. Housed deep in the Department of Bioinformation of the Popov Institute, Soviet scientists continued their cutting-edge research into psychic phenomena. The KGB began a search across the entire Soviet Union, scouring universities and military recruits for the best and most powerful psychics known to man. The best of these psychics were channeled into a research group under the direction of the Soviet military, Special Department No. 8, a top-secret group dedicated to military applications of psychic power. During tests of their abilities, the Soviet High Command was astonished to learn that they could see into sensitive government facilities and anticipate troop movements from behind laboratory walls. Scientists theorized that the phenomenon was the result of extremely low frequency waves received in the brain, corresponding with the brain's own powerful frequency of 10 hertz. Einstein's particle wave theory suggested that the subtle traces of information could be transferred to the brain on minute particles within these waves. However, the Soviets learned that they were not the only ones researching this new kind of telepathy. It wasn't long before the KGB came across an obscure publication by a research group attached to Stanford University, claiming to have achieved similar results. After seeing this, the KGB knew the Americans had discovered remote viewing. The KGB was very much interested in the American development in the area of remote viewing because the KGB wanted to overtake Americans. The KGB reports identified Hal Putoff and Russell Tog as the leading researchers at the Stanford Research Institute, or SRI. CIA documents captured by the KGB indicate, although impressive, Putoff and Tog's work was met with skepticism from within the American intelligence community. But an event in May of 1978 changed all of that. The CIA learned that the top-secret Soviet Tukolov-22 surveillance craft had crashed on a reconnaissance mission over Zaire. Naturally, the CIA was anxious to recover the craft for study. They employed sophisticated satellites to search the jungle, but the dense canopy made such tracking impossible. Desperate to beat the Soviets to the crash site, they called in SRI's remote viewers. Sitting in a dark room in California, Putoff's psychic went to work. He was given only a description of the aircraft and the fact that it was lost over Africa. Slipping into a trance, he began to receive images, a jungle canopy, a river, and finally, a large submerged object, an aircraft with its tail section protruding above the water. Further sessions revealed distinct turns in the river and topographic features that could be matched to detailed maps. Within days, field agents made their way to the crash site and located the craft. Surprised by the speed of the recovery, President Carter asked how the CIA had done it. He was astonished by the answer. The Soviet government was understandably alarmed by the loss of their top secret aircraft and desperate to learn more about the remote viewing capability of their American counterpart. 